How to calculate p-value. Step-by-step -step guide, with examples of z-distribution. P-value of z-test. The calculation of the p-value of z-test depends on whether the test is upper, lower, or two-tailed. Each of these is the probability of getting a value at least as extreme as what was obtained assuming null hypothesis will be true. Acceptance and rejection region. First of all you must know one-tailed test, left tail, two-tailed test and one-tailed test, right tail, along null and alternative hypothesis and also diagram to see which area is acceptance region and which area is rejection region. P-values of Z-test. Upper, lower and two-tailed test. Number one is upper-tailed test in which alternative hypothesis contains the inequality sign which is used for greater than. Number two is lower-tailed test in which alternative hypothesis contains the inequality sign which is used for less than. Number 3 is two-tailed test in which alternative hypothesis contains the unequal sign which is used for not equal to. Overall probability values or p-value is 1 by adding left and right side probabilities which is 0.5 and 0.5, respectively. Changing mu shifts the distribution left to right while changing sigma increase or decreases the spread. Table 1. Area of Standard Normal Curve. You can use Z Table of Area of Standard Normal Curve to calculate p-values of Z test. Table 2 is negative and positive cumulative area under Standard Normal Curve. You can also use this Z table to calculate p-values of Z test by finding negative and positive cumulative area under Standard Normal Curve. How to use the Z table row headings define the Z score to the tenths place, column headings add the Z scores hundredths place, cells within the table represent the area under standard normal curve to the left of the Z score. For example, to find the area for Z is equal to minus 2.23, look at the row minus 2.2 and column is 0 0.03 intersection as shown in the truncated Z table below. Thus, the area to the left of Z is equal to minus 2.23 is 0.01287. The probability of values falling below this value in a normally distributed population is 0.01287, or 1.287%. 1 Area of standard normal curve, versus, negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. The standard normal distribution is a probability distribution, so area under the curve between two points tells you the probability of variables taking on a range of values. The total area under the curve is 1 or 100% while the z-table is divided into two sections, negative and positive z-scores. Negative z-scores are below the mean, while positive z-scores are above the mean. Row and column headers define the z-score while table cells show the area. The total area for left side is 0.5 or 50% and right side is also 0.5 or 50%. For example, probability of Z is between minus infinity and 0 which is equal to 0.5 or 50% is for left side while probability of Z is between 0 and plus infinity which is equal to 0.5 or 50% is for right side while while, the total area of negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve is 1 or 100%. 1 or 100%. For example, probability of Z is between minus infinity and plus infinity which is equal to 1. The p-value is calculated from Z table of area of standard normal curve gives same result as like p-value calculated from Z table of negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve while 
p-value is calculated from Z table of negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve which gives same results is like p-value is calculated from Z table of area of standard normal curve. The complexity of calculating p-values form area of standard normal curve are difficult while the complexity of calculating p-values form negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve are easy formula of z-score for both tables are same such as subtracting mu from x divided by sigma. Area of standard normal curve, versus, negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 1 is the probability of Z is less than 1.57 gives probability value of 0 0.9418 for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 2 is the probability of Z is greater than 1.57 gives probability value of 0.0.9418 for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 3 is the probability of Z is greater than 1.84 gives probability value of 0.0329 for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 4 is the probability of Z is less than minus 1.84 gives probability value of 0.0329 for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 5 is the probability of Z is less than 1.57 or greater than 1.84 gives probability value of 0.0253, for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 6 is the probability of Z is less than minus 1.57 or greater than 1.84 gives probability value of 0.9089, for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 7 is the probability of Z is less than minus 1.57 and minus 1.84 gives probability value of 0.0253, for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 8 is the probability of Z is less than 1.57 and probability of Z is greater than 1.87 gives probability value of 0.9747, for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Example 9 The probability of Z is less than minus 1.57 and probability of Z is greater than 1.87 gives probability value of 0.0911, for area of standard normal curve and also negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. What is the value of Z if only 2.5% of all possible Z value are larger? To answer question 10, first of all you know that probability of Z is greater than X which is equal to 2.5%. Which gives value 0.4750 inside Z table and you can see the rechecking method what 1.96 means. It is important tip that area of Z is 0 0.4750 gives column of Z table is 0 0.06 and row of Z table of area of standard normal curve is 1.9. By adding 0.06 and 1.9 is 1.96, which gives 0 0.4750 value of probability in area of standard normal curve. 
while on the other hand, the negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve also give 1.96 value by subtracting 0.025 from 1 which gives probability value of 0.9750 inside Z table and you can see the rechecking method what 1.96 means. It is important tip that area of Z is 0.9750 gives column of Z table is 0.06 and row of Z table of positive cumulative area under standard normal curve is 1.9. By adding 0.06 and 1.9 is 1.96 which gives 0.9750 value of probability. Example 11 is between what two values of Z symmetrically distributed around the mean will 68.26% of all possible Z values be contained. For area under standard normal curve. Area of Z is 0.3413 which gives column of Z table is 0.00 and row of Z table of area of standard normal curve is 1.0. By adding 0.00 and 1.0 gives gives 1.00 and that gives probability of 0.3413 for left and 0.3413 for right side value of normal distribution. Thus, between minus 1 and plus 1. Z symmetrically distributed around the mean will 68.26% of all possible Z values be contained. While for area of negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. The area of Z in negative table for minus 1.00 is 0 0.1587 while area of Z in positive table for Z is 0 0.8413. By subtracting 0.1587 from 0.8413 gives 0.6826. Thus, between minus 1 and plus 1, Z symmetrically distributed around the mean will 68.26% of all possible Z values be contained. Between what two values of Z symmetrically distributed around the mean will 95.44% of all possible Z values be contained? Example 12 is same as example 11 1 in which we take 68.26%. So you can get minus 2 and plus 2 values of Z symmetrically distributed around the mean will 95.44% of all possible Z values be contained for area of standard normal curve and negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Between what two values of Z symmetrically distributed around the mean will 99.74% of all possible Z values be contained? Example 13 is same as example 11 in which we only take 68.26%. So you can get minus 3 and plus 3 values of Z symmetrically distributed around the mean will 99.74% of all possible Z values be contained for area of standard normal curve and negative and positive cumulative area under standard normal curve. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.